Tilapia are a problem for so many reasons. Uh, they outcompete the native species for food, for space. Uh, they're also highly aggressive and uh, they are just incredibly fast at uh, reproducing and very successful at it. Tilapia can move incredibly quickly when they get introduced into an area, so they can start to dominate the landscape very quickly. So tilapia like the environments in the, the lower Fitzroy because there's lots of predator-free nursery areas that they can have their babies in. There's lots of uh, habitat and lots of food, um, so they're a, a prime environment where they can start to dominate. So unfortunately, tilapia have already uh, occupied quite a lot of the Fitzroy Basin Association's area. Through the yellow areas, we've detected them through either eDNA or netting or electrofishing, so we know they're present there. The other areas are what we're calling the alert areas. Now these are the areas we don't think tilapia have gotten to yet, so we want people to pay very close attention if they're in this area in the waterways. The remaining areas are still important for people to keep a close eye on, just in case tilapia turn up, because that's still very important information. Today's objective is to catch a tilapia, show you some of the features of that fish so you can be confident in identifying them and how to report them so that we can improve our management of this issue. The best way to identify tilapia is through the dorsal fin. The dorsal fin on a tilapia is a single uh, fin, whereas all of our native fish have a double fin. The uh, dorsal fin on the tilapia also has a pointed end, whereas most of our native fish are rounded. Uh, and so that's usually the way you can tell the difference. With juvenile fish, the spot on the dorsal fin is a dead giveaway. None of our native fish have a spot on their dorsal fin, but the uh, tilapia has a small spot surrounded by a white uh, edge on the uh, back end of their dorsal fin. So in Queensland, uh, the law is very clear. Tilapia can't be used for anything uh, for bait or for eating, nothing like that. All that you can do if you do catch one is to humanely dispose of them by uh, burying them above any tidal influence areas or up to the high bank around 50 metres away from the waterway. Today we're going to catch a real tilapia and show you how you can use the features of the fish to identify it positively. And what we're really hoping is that this is going to allow uh, the whole of central Queensland to learn about tilapia, how to identify it and how to report when they do find one. Yeah, so we've just conducted some electrofishing in the shallows uh, where we've collected a, a bunch of uh, native fish as well as some juvenile tilapia. So down in the bucket here, what we have is the juvenile tilapia and even at this size they're still quite distinctive. Um, you can see that they've got a number of stripes down the, uh, the side of the body and the spot on the top of the dorsal and that's quite distinctive for this species. Now that we've caught the fish, um, we are not allowed to keep the fish, we have to dispose of them. So what we'll do is we'll dispatch them and then we'll walk uh, up the bank 50 metres away from the waterway and uh, bury the fish. If you take a photo of the tilapia, we can then record that data on feral fish scan um, and the photo can be used as evidence that it is a tilapia. If you're caught in possession of tilapia, uh, whether that be a fillet or a whole fish or even juveniles for bait at all, uh, it will attract substantial fines up to $60,000. So reporting where the tilapia are seen will give us uh, an idea of where their strongholds are, what, what habitats they are preferring, and then that will give us the opportunity to potentially put projects into the future that will help to reduce their tilapia numbers. By enhancing habitat for native fish and by improving water quality, we can maximise the number of native fish that there are in the waterway, and that will keep the tilapia numbers under control. So it's in FBA's interest to manage our natural resources as sustainably as possible, and tilapia pose quite a significant threat to that. Because of their uh, interaction within our waterways, they actually are reducing the ecosystem services those waterways can provide us, as well as further downstream, including the Great Barrier Reef. 